Um, we do have the EP5 and the Helo Speed Charge Gen 2 um, with the side shot camera video through both optics. This is uh, actually several people requested this video. So I'm just trying to keep up with requests. Uh, if it's something simple like this I can do, it doesn't take me long to put it out. Um, it's pretty easy to do. This was our target downrange. It's an orange golf ball, obviously, with a black dot on it. Now, I get a lot of questions as why do I mix the colors like orange and green and green with yellow and so on and so forth. That's so I can see the difference in the glass. Um, a lot of times what happens is, is if you put a something like this downrange to look at and you got a little dot on it like this, this orange tends to blend out this black for whatever reason in the glass. Um, higher end optics don't tend to do that, lower end optics do tend to do that. So that's the reason I do that stuff is to see the difference in the clarity okay, of one versus the other. And I think the video is going to speak for itself. Uh, you guys will see that here shortly. Um, we'll jump into the video and we'll come back for some final thoughts. Stand by. <clears throat> All right, guys, here we are with EP5, and we're looking at that golf ball down range again. Um, it is raining, a little bit misty today. Kind of a different condition than yesterday. Again, we're using the side shot camera. This is a GoPro 10. You can see that golf ball is a half minute. We're at 250 yards. There's a half minute mark. There's a black dot on that golf ball down, an orange ball with a black dot. All right, we're at a minute 30. We're gonna switch over to the Helos, the Helos BTR, stand by. Okay guys, this is the Helos BTR Gen 2 Athlon. You notice that the reticle is uh, quite a bit thicker on the uh, helos. We're still filming the same condition, still raining outside. Mess with the parallax there, try to get as clear as possible. That looks pretty good right there to me. Hope you guys see that. Again, there's a black dot on that golf ball down there. There's a half minute. There's a full minute right there. You can see the reticles quite a bit thicker. It's good and bad, depends on what you want to use it for. Again, guys, that's a Helos BTR Gen 2. 6 to 24 by 56. Stand by. All right, guys, we're back. What'd you think of that video? <laughs> uh, I have to be honest with you, as of right now, I'm making this video, so I haven't actually seen the footage through the side shot camera. Um, I did, however, rate the glass um, in another video where I was actually just looking through it and telling you guys what I've seen. Um, this was our object we were looking at. Again, the, it's an orange golf ball with a black dot. And I just want to see if the orange covers the black at, a di at different ranges, okay? It happens to some scopes that actually blend in. All you'll see is the orange ball. You won't see this black dot on here. That kind of gives me an idea of the glass quality. Um, again, this is uh, Chinese glass. This is Japanese glass. This is the Arkin EP5. This is the Helos BTR Gen 2 and this is a request video so i hope you guys uh found that useful um 
These are sitting right around $600. Um, the EP5s are $550. They're going to be going up. So kind of gives you an idea of the price difference. Not a lot of price difference there. Um, but again, I, I just wanted you guys to see the, the clarity differences there. If you guys decide you want to purchase an Arc and Scope and help out the channel, you can use PHSO at checkout. That stands for Panther Hollow Sporting Optics. That'll help out the channel and help me uh, continue to make these videos for you guys. Again, if you guys want to see something specific uh, and I have that type of scope in stock, I'll be more than happy to do a comparison. It's not a problem. Just drop me a uh, message below or you can email me at pantherhollow at mail.com. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.